The Hisense Party Rocker speaker is likely one of the best out there pieces of tech I've used from the brand to date. The company aims to provide high-end music playback through this giant portable speaker that they call the Hisense Party Rocker. It is packed with some cool features and believe it or not the RGB lighting effects built into this tech actually work and at the same time it all looks pretty awesome. Hisense has also packed the speaker with a hefty built-in battery that provides up to 15 hours of playback depending on your volume and lighting presets. Given our current state of load shedding I find myself using the party speaker quite often, especially at night when load shedding hit me at 8pm. There was nothing better than filling the room with some soothing soundtracks as I sat there thinking about all the ways I could burn SCOM down. This Hisense Party Rocker speaker also came in handy during some family functions when I had to fill the air with some background music while we bride and enjoyed each other's company. Over the past few weeks this Hisense Party Rocker speaker has slowly become an essential piece of tech in my home more than something I would occasionally use. This was surprising to me as I didn't think a speaker like this would be so versatile. The speaker is quite a hefty piece of tech that comes in a large box that has a colourful marketing poster on the side of it. There really isn't much in the box besides the speaker, a power cable and some paper documents. It is important for you to read through all of these manuals to fully understand all the bits and bobs on this device. The speaker has a lot of potential that you won't experience if you don't understand how everything works. If you have used any other large party speakers in the past, this Hisense Party Rocker speaker would look quite familiar. It stands at 66cm high and weighs 10kg. It looks like a giant speaker because it is. There are two large handles on the top so you can carry it around. If you are tall and fairly strong you can use one handle but the second handle is helpful for those who might struggle to pick this up alone. The entire front of the speaker is wrapped in a clean metal black mesh. It curves around the front slightly. The mesh protects the four speakers that make up a total of 300 watts of power. There are two 6.5 inch woofers and two 2.5 inch tweeters. This is a two channel speaker system. You also won't see it when the speaker is turned off but there are four large RGB rings that surround each of these speakers. On the top is where you'll find most of the speaker's operational buttons. There's a large wireless charging pad used to charge supported phones. The digital display shows a number of things too including the Bluetooth connection pairing status, volume, radio frequency and more. There's also a battery indicator light that shows you how much charge the battery has left in it. The buttons act as no-brainer switches to change the lighting effects on the speaker, tune the radio and increase the volume. I will get into all the technical stuff in a bit. I do need to mention that the entire top panel is also IPX4 rated, meaning it is completely waterproof. Of course you can't go around and dunk the entire speaker in the pool, but this top level speaker is protected from splashes, drops of water and spills. So if you're getting out of the pool to change the song on your phone, which is currently charging on the wireless pad, and happen to drop water on the top, it won't damage the speaker. Considering the type of environment the speaker is meant to be in, I think the waterproofing feature is quite cool to have. You can just change songs, increase the volume of the speaker, change the lighting effects and more without ever having to worry about spillage or drops of water. There's even a docking area on the front where you can slot your phone or tablet so it stands up straight. Hisense really thought of everything when designing the top of the speaker. The speaker is also designed to stand on a lower position thanks to its rubber feet on both sides of the panel. Of course this makes it harder to press the buttons but at the same time if you have the setup done correctly for Bluetooth and choosing the lighting preset you want, you won't have to actually fiddle around with the buttons anyway. Once everything's connected you can just pause your songs, increase the volume and go to the next song from your phone. Lastly you'll find some handy ports at the back of the speaker too. There's a USB port, auxiliary in and out port, a microphone in port and a guitar in port. These things will come in handy if you're making use of the karaoke feature. The USB is also handy for both charging and data playback. Overall I think the Hisense Party Rocker speaker is pretty stylish when it comes to the design. I enjoyed using the lower standing position because of the way the RGB lights lit up the floor when it was turned on. But no matter how you use it, this speaker will definitely have friends and family commenting on it. This tech also packs all the features you look for in a party speaker, most importantly Bluetooth 5.0. You'll likely use this the most and have everybody fighting over who's playing music at your shindig. Pairing is simple and easy and there's really nothing to it. My devices were paired and the music played. I was surprised to see how low the input lag was on the speaker too. Turning up and down the volume on my phone and changing tracks was snappy and quick and everything on the speaker responded as soon as I did it on my phone.
the device also comes with other means to listen to music too, including aux in and FM radio. Of course, the FM radio comes with its own setbacks in sound quality, but the feature is nice to have. The karaoke mode is also great for those who use that sort of setup, and the various volume adjustment dials give you more freedom to tailor the inputs to your liking. The RGB lighting is one of my favourite things on the speaker, mainly because it wasn't a gimmick. There are 5 lighting effects that animate in different ways, but they all respond to the music that I'm playing. I was really happy to see these effects responding properly to the music rather than just doing their own thing at random times. The effects load in and out, rotate colours and much more. It is hard to choose which one to go with at times because they were all pretty cool. When you change the volume on the speaker there's also an RGB light that fills up slowly depending on how high the volume is. Hisense has also included DJ effects in the speaker too that play 5 different sounds when you press the button. I didn't really use these much. The sound ranged from applauses to disc scratch effects. I guess if you're manning the speaker at a party and you want to have a cool transition from one song to the next, these sounds will come in handy. The speaker's battery mode is quite a big deal on this device and it really should be. We never have damn electricity in this damn country. It includes a 2500mAh battery. Hisense says you can get up to 15 hours of playback when using no RGB lights and low to medium volume. The instruction manual also states that the overall power is reduced on the speaker when using it on battery to prevent too much draw on the unit. It makes sense, this is a 300 watt speaker and it unlikely has the inverter capabilities to convert that sort of power draw inside the speaker itself. With that being said, the overall experience with the battery was really great. I used the speaker lights and the volume on medium and it lasted me a few days of about 1-2 to two hours of overall use a day. I would say in total I got about 9 hours of use out of the speaker before I had to charge it again. This is quite impressive given the punchy sound quality that the speaker still delivered and the lights being used on at the same time. You can obviously get more battery life out of this if you turn off the lights and decrease the volume. When it comes to the sound quality, this Hisense Party Rocket speaker didn't disappoint at all. There are various equalizers to choose from that tweak the sound to whatever genre you are playing. Overall, everything was quite impressive. Hip Hop delivered that heavy bass you look for in the music. Pop and Electronic filled the room with all the digital effects. It was clear and even the louder volumes, there was no sort of distortion at all. Even during the dark load shedding sessions when I listened to more tranquil soundings of Florence of the Machine, the vocals were clear and I heard every chime of the harp as I sat there contemplating life. But overall, I think Hisense has done an excellent job with the speaker. Not only does it look incredibly stylish, but it is also extremely versatile, portable and packs a great battery. Sure there are some things I would never use like the karaoke feature and some of those DJ effects, but for those people who do use them, it's added benefit. The speaker is also decently priced at 5,500 Rand, but I've even seen it as low as 4,500 Rand on sale. It is a small price to pay for something that serves so many purposes. While you're here, make sure you go check out the other high sense reviews I've done in the past few months. I've recently covered their entire ULE TV range and done soundbar reviews. I'll leave links in the description down below. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and please do consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. Also, be sure to visit www.glitch.online for more gaming and tech reviews and news. Until next time, farewell.